I had to learn a new language and uh, the sh it was really a real shock about culture because, uh, wow, this is just a whole different world. For Arizona State senior forward, Sofia Elenga, learning English didn't just help her communicate with teammates, but in her chosen career path. Elenga is pursuing a sports journalism degree at the Walter Cronkite School of Journalism and Mass Communication. If you can imagine like English as your second language and you're a journalism major, you know, having to write quick, you know, like that is really, really hard for her. When people were talking to me, I was first translating in French and then I was answering in French and then I was translating in English. So it was a long process. In a way, it's teaching somebody a new language, the new language of production and creativity. And that, it can be a challenge. And Sophia didn't know anything about cameras coming in here or editing and to see where she's at now. It's quite impressive. Sophia's journey to ASU began in a small French town called nogent sur wise about an hour north of Paris. I left home when I was 12 for basketball, so I directly went to a bigger city. It was very different, and I think it really helped me to kind of grow, grow up, because after that, I moved to another city who was further in the, uh, in the south and very far from home. That city was Bourges, where she only got to see her family during holiday breaks. While that was difficult, moving to the U.S. to pursue a college basketball career at Cochise College in Douglas, Arizona, was a whole other ball game. Knowing that my family was not here with me in the, in the country, I mean, uh, honestly, I felt really, really lonely. Also because my friends was not there neither. And uh, it's, it was mentally, mentally was really hard. I'm not going to lie. The first year, the couple months, I was crying every single day. Sophia eventually adjusted to American life at Cochise under former Sun Devil assistant coach Laura Hughes before joining Charlie Turner Thorne at ASU in 2017. She works hard at everything that she does. She is nice, respectful, caring all the time. In terms of everybody else, I mean, never an ill word, you know, never not there for them. Um, so she's quite the Sun Devil. Whether she's balling on the court or editing at a computer, Sophia's standards remain high, regardless of the challenge. Her drive, man, her drive is like nothing I've ever seen before. She just always goes for it. She does it with a smile. I can respect that in any, any person just who wants to learn more and learn from their mistakes and just wants to grow as an individual. Lovely, not bad. Part of Sophia's drive grew out of her mother's brain cancer fight that began when Sophia was just 12, months before she first moved away from her family. Because I am the youngest of the family, all my siblings, they protect me. Like, they kind of keep me like, this is not, you don't have to worry about it. We got this, we got this. So I didn't really get involved. It's just like when you feel like powerless. That was kind of frustrated time, but I know that this is what they want me to do and they wanted to me to do it well. So my, my goal for me was just to take care of stuff. Fortunately, Sophia's mother had successful surgery and still support Sophia from their home country. Meanwhile, Sophia presses on. My goal was to get my education, and at this point, I was like, I don't have any choice. I have to go through it. All the most successful people in this world, I mean, they, they just know how to keep going, you know, and, and handle, like, work capacity. I don't know any really successful people that don't have a great work capacity. She keeps going and going and going, and she finds a way to succeed and get it done no matter what is placed in front of her. Sophia's college basketball career ended with ASU's loss in March, but she has one more year of studies at the Cronkite School before she earns her degree. She's weighing her on-court options around the world and in journalism. In Tempe, Eliav Gabay, Cronkite Sports Report.